the evening routine. I've been out doing the poo picking that I do every day. Percy's very helpful, keeps an eye on things, supervises things. And really interesting today, I wormed, little Jack's been with me, get out, don't eat that. Little Jack's been with me four days now. There he is. And he's had what are called, he's got, had a lot of what you call butterfly eggs. Now, they're little yellow tiny eggs and I have no idea if you can see those. They are laid by um, what are like, the, well the butterfly is like a wasp, so that's them. Um, they were all under here as well. It's like a wasp and it is so, the actual fly that lays the eggs is so persistent and horrible and buzzy and it, oh, they're horrible. Alright, that's his legs. You can see some areas where I've had to cut them off where they've been so dense. I bought a butt knife and of course I left it with a load of stuff in the UK. So, Percy's uh, looking after it for me. What's this then, Perse? I've got this bot fly block, which is like hard chalk. And basically, the idea is... Uh, let me find some bots on here. There's a couple here. Here. So what you're supposed to do is do that. And the eggs are supposed to come off, which they are in fact coming off. It's a little hassle. So I'm really glad I found that. The Intermarche where they do a little bit of horse tack here, and some under here as well. I won't dwell on that, you've seen them, so that's fine. Right, so that's him with his bots, his dodgy feet. And I've been working on his, he's got uh, a lot of dandruff and scaly skin under here, which is basically from living out with no... Oh. Sorry, am I not including you? It's dinner time. And I put pig oil and sulphur all over his mane and tail. You can still see the dandruff there. But it's starting to come out, and uh, that's the main thing. And I, I, that's after a good brush today. I mean, it was really, really bad. So I put pig oil and sulphur down here, and then just brushed it down. He's got it on his tail as well. And when the ferry has been on Friday, who I've discovered his name is Jérôme. I'm going to get these bots off as much as I can tonight, and then when the ferry comes on Friday, He's going to have pig oil and sulphur on his legs, which helps prevent any bot flies, um, bot eggs being laid. There are three sorts of bot flies, just to be really boring. Some are actually laid on the muzzle and go into the mouth automatically. These ones are waiting for the horse to scratch and groom itself, or for another horse to groom it. They'll then go into the stomach and they stay in the stomach lining for 10 months before they're passed out into the poo and there they nest in the ground and become new bot flies. So it's a dodgy cycle and it's a very long lasting one. As I've uh, been doing my research today like a good girl, I used to um, deal with an awful lot of ponies with worm infestations and all sorts and I've actually quite fascinated by worms. Now here's the bit for anyone squeamish to turn off because these if I can sit on here it's just going to oh. right, Percy you're not eating them right I think we need the light behind us actually these are actually little buggers themselves they're red and as I was poo picking, there they were. They're obviously dead. They are used a very strong wormer, 
on him called Premox that you can get in the UK. It kills just about everything. But I have never seen adult bot egg larvae before. No. I'm not squeamish at all because I've seen it all before. Right, you can't see that on my hand, obviously. This is the front end where the sucker is. Okay, so that hook has hooks in it and that hooks onto the stomach lining where it stays and grows that big for 10 months. And it, that is what passes out into the droppings and that is what I found in the droppings today. Um, put it against my black on my sweatshirt. Percy with her, his anxiety, there's no one there. That's it. That white thing at the tip is the sucker. Oh, and there he goes. Oh my god, I've lost him. Oh, no, I'll find him in a second. And this is literally just what's come out after a couple of days of uh, picking them up. So they've taken a few days to die. Um, the Pramox actually lasts. Um, in the intestines for three months. A lot of people think that's horrific to use chemicals on your ponies and it can cause laminitis and everything. I'm sorry, if you use wormers properly and you manage the paddocks properly, then you're going to have well ponies. God only knows what that's done to the damage that's done to his stomach lining. And that's it.